have some very important information for you. You know, you, you spend the off season getting ready for the season and you're in the batting cages, polishing your mechanics, your technique, that's great. But what are you doing to get your timing ready for the game? Timing to hitters is everything. And you, you need to understand how to improve it. You need to understand what the, what the rules are behind your hitting model that it's gonna make a difference in the game. So you can make those fast, quick adjustments pitch by pitch. During the off season, you can work on a picture perfect swing. And your technique, your mechanics are just flawless. And that's great. You may go to the video room and analyze your swing and uh, you know, get that special software where you put yourself side by side and it's great stuff. And, uh, but you, you're building a perfect swing. You bring it to the game, and that perfect swing may just foul off the pitch that's right down the middle. And you may get another pitch that's right down the middle, and you foul that one off too. But you got the perfect swing. So it's not about mechanics, is it, at that point? It's about something else. The heart and soul, what it really comes down to, is your timing. And it helps to have good mechanics, I'm not dismissing that, but your timing affects your vision, and your timing will also affect mechanics. And sometimes you just need a little tweaking. And that's what this video series does. It helps you to understand your model, your athletic disposition, your athletic DNA, and to make those quick adjustments in the game. I have a new video series out, and this is gonna help baseball coaches, baseball parents, and baseball players. Why? I spent 20 years coaching baseball and I put a, a strong emphasis on the hitting side of baseball. And through the years, being a player, working in the scouting department, and coaching collegiate baseball, I realized that when I would walk away from home plate after a bat at bat, it wasn't about my, my mechanics. It was about my timing. And looking and probing and praying and investigating, I've, I've learned that there are 10 models to a hitter. Ten models a hitter can fall into that pertains to his timing. Inside these models are particular rules that the hitter needs to know about to make quick adjustments before the next pitch comes. And they really work. Every hitter you can show me, you can present me, will fall into one of these ten categories of hitting. Whether you have a, a foot floater, whether you have a leg lifter, Maybe you have a, a rocking motion. Maybe you have a guy that's sandwiching. There's 10 different models. And the models sort of are, are working towards the bents of a player's athletic disposition, how he athletically moves, and what he's going to trust inside to get his timing going, whether he's working mainly with his feet to get, to get rhythm. Maybe he's working with his upper body and his hands. It's important to as coaches and parents as players to distinguish what model you fall into and apply those rules. 20 years of experiences that include professional baseball scouting departments, college baseball coaching, and teaching in the industry of baseball, this is not your common information you're going to find just on YouTube, right? Um, when you discuss information with pro guys who are very advanced and very talented, a lot of times all they can tell you is, hey, I just see it and I just hit it. That's it. Let's just keep it simple. Well, that may be true, but that's just the best that they can tell you because that's all they feel. And they try to relate to you. Why make it more complex? The truth is, when I discuss this information with my, my pro friends, they always tell me, Dave, listen, either a guy can hit or he just can't hit. He just has the knack for it. Well, my position is, can I teach another player how to have the same knack that the other player has, the good players? And I really believe, yes, we can, if we understand what is inside the knack. And mainly, for this video series is going to show you, it's timing. A key component to timing is first, the hitter needs to understand how to sync himself together. How do I get my hands in sync with my feet and my feet in sync with my hands? That's a common rule amongst athletics. 
And we show you how to do that in the art of hitting and how it's designed, how I synchronize my body with the pitcher's body. The information you're going to find in this video series, it's not like information you're going to see on YouTube channels you know, or from people speaking at conferences and getting them on DVDs. This is highly specific, detailed information, and uh, that's why there's a price tag on it. But keep this in mind, you know, just to outfit for yourself to play the game, you, you may spend $400 on a baseball bat, uh, $300 on a baseball glove, $100 for baseball shoes, don't forget your, uh, your own helmet, your batting gloves, and maybe some performance underwear underneath your, your game stuff. So just to stand on the field and outfit yourself to look good, you may spend about $1,000. This information is valuable. This is going to help you to make adjustments inside the game before the next pitch happens because you understand yourself better. You understand your swing and your timing. And um, it's going to feel a lot better when you're standing on second base after a double than walking back to the dugout. But you had picture perfect swing, but you swung and missed. So that's all I'm saying. And it's be well spent. Hey, also, keep in mind, we do visits. We travel and we visit to. Uh, baseball teams, college teams, we visit organizations, and we can turn our visit into a fundraiser for your group, and it's a win-win situation for everybody. Uh, trust me on this. Um, timing is everything when it comes to hitting. I'm not dismissing the, the part of, of mechanics is important, but timing affects your vision, timing will affect your mechanics. It's amazing and it works fast. You'll love the program. God bless.